Hooked up. The first thing I'd like to point out about fly fishing is that most people cast this way. I call it saluting. And um, I'm going to go this way because it's into the wind and it proves you don't have to cast hard to kind of win. But if you're only going from here to here, there is no other sport in the world where you only use your arm and your wrist. In every other sport you hit, whether you're throwing a frisbee or playing ping pong, you use your body. So when you only cast just like this, first you're restricted as to what you can do fishing, but you're not using your body. And this is one reason why a lot of women and older people and young people don't cast because they don't have the strength. Um, what I'm going to do, and I don't want you casting this way, I don't want to cast this way because it's too easy in the wind. I'm going to just move my body, locking my arm. I don't want you to do this, but I simply want to show you what the body will do in a cast. The body is through that much line. So if we utilize the body along with a regular cast, this is right into the wind, and you can throw this much line with the body. So when you're saluting, you're pretty much captured to doing vertical fishing. Also, there's lots of casts you can't make, and there is no one way to cast. You may have to throw a back cast underneath a tree and come around vertical. You might have to throw something across your body. You might want to throw a curved cast or skip cast or a roll cast. There is no one way to cast. Uh, there is also no one way to fish. You don't cast a dry fly the same way you do a clouds or minna. So what I've been teaching for more than 40 years is there are four principles of casting. And with principles, first of all, a principle is something you can't, you can't argue with. Gravity is a principle. You throw something up, it's going to come down. And so those four principles will apply to every cast you ever make. And I'll go over those in a few minutes. If you use principles, you can adapt them to the way you're built. You can also adapt it to the fit current fishing condition or the tackle you're using. You don't cast a big weighted line the same way you do a floating line. So I'd, I'd suggest thinking about those principles. What do you do when you cast? The first thing you do is you don't cast fly lines. You unroll them. This thing unrolls, and what the moment it, moment it unrolls, it's going to fall. So if I want to make a longer cast, I have to let it go out there until finally it unrolls. So why is that important? When you unroll a line, you do two things. And you can see this best into the wind. If I unroll this in a big loop, it doesn't go anywhere for three reasons. One, you're throwing your energy around a curve. Two, you're entering a lot of end line against the air or the wind. And three, something's got to stand it up. But if you throw a, a tight loop, you can throw all this line into the end because the tighter loop, all the energy goes to the target. There's little air that penetrates and very little of a loop to stand up. Sometimes you want to make a big loop, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But the point is that if you just bend your wrist. If you can see this, when I bend my wrist, I'm making this line go around curved. If I don't bend my wrist, all the line goes perfectly straight. Now I bend my wrist. Don't bend my wrist, all the line goes out. So the more you bend your wrist, the more you're throwing energy around a curve. And you can get tennis elbow. And every time you raise your elbow out or up, you pull on these rotator cuffs. So you may damage your rotators or tear them, which some people have done. If you will pivot your body and not raise your elbow off of a shelf, in other words, it can move straight, it can move up this way, it can move straight through here, it can move sideways, the elbow tracks straight away from the target. Once the elbow goes out or up, you're starting to throw line around curves and pulling on your rotators. I'm 89 years old, I've been fishing heavy trout lines and fly lines all my life. I don't ever have any rotator or tennis elbow problems. 
So you ladies, if you'll pivot your body, you can actually make, the, you're making this thing from your ankles to your head instead of doing this stuff. What are those four principles? The first principle is that you cast the fly line the same way you do a spinning rod or a plug rod. There's no difference. The only, there is one difference I'll explain, but you cast them the same way. If you had a spinning lure and you laid it down here on the ground, you could not cast this spinning lure until you make it move. 